parents started Roof Automobile in 1939 here in Pfaffenhausen. They bought a banker's villa with a park that was in a very good location right at the entrance of Pfaffenhausen at the main street. And they decided to remove the park and change it over to an automobile enterprise. My youth was spent as soon as I could crawl. I was in my dad's garage and I put my nose in every possible thing. And of course, this was not always easy for my parents because uh, this was also dangerous. And one, one day, actually, I fell into the waste oil container and I was rescued. Uh, that was my, my, my first baptizing, I guess. So this is how it all started. Roof and Porsche started in the year 1963. My father had his uh, own bus. It was a tour bus and uh, he was driving on a Sunday afternoon and he was passed by a Porsche 356. And as the car was passing my dad, the driver lost control over the car and he was uh, going all over the road and finally he made it to the ditch and rolled over the car two times and my dad stopped and looked after the driver. He was okay, apparently he had a couple of cuts from the glass and uh, my father spoke a couple of uh, comforting words to him and brought him to the hospital, had him checked out and uh, told him, don't worry about the car, I will take care of the car, just look after yourself and we will speak on the telephone and a week later my dad buys the salvage. He bought the broken car that was beat up all over and he fixed it and brought it back in brand new condition. Of course I was involved and my older brother at that time we were all enthusiastic. This is when the enthusiasm of, for, for the Porsche automobile actually started in our company. And um, we owned the car for a year. My dad drove it and fell in love with the Porsche. That was his actual first experience with a Porsche car. And, and then one day something incredible happened. We, as we were driving in Munich on Leopoldstrasse in one of the main streets and a young man uh, knocks at the window, asks us to stop the car and we're stopping, we're talking to this man and he says, I want to buy your car. And my dad and my, uh, this young man, they go to a coffee shop and, and we talk and they, one hour later the car was sold. We didn't actually take the car home anymore. We, he bought it on the spot, he had the cash money. And my dad said, I can't believe it, I never sold a car like that before. And we actually made money and we had it for, whole, for a whole year. So this was the best argument for me as a teenager to motivate my dad to continue to do the next project. And this is what happened. And in the 1960s, we continued. We wanted to do another one and another one. We were known as the Porsche specialist that wouldn't fear any type of complicated repair, maintenance, be it in the body works or be it in the mechanical side. It was comprehensive work that we could offer. first encounter with the Porsche 911 was in 1964 in the early springtime. My dad and I, we were on the Autobahn and we were on the way to a fair and uh, I, I, I'll never forget that. And here comes this car flying by us. We were probably doing 50 miles per hour and that car must have been doing at least 100 miles. And water was splashing over our windscreen. The windshield wiper couldn't clean the windscreen anymore. And I heard this sound, this incredible sound of that car. And I just barely saw the Stuttgart license plate. And I said, 
Dad, this is the new Porsche. This is the new Porsche. I saw that in a magazine, in a car magazine. I have to show it to you when we're back home. And of course, at that time, it must have been a 901 because the name 911 wasn't even out yet. Uh, it was a prototype from Stuttgart that was on the way of the Autobahn. It was an incredible experience. And I think that that really triggered the passion in me for the 911, definitely. Driving an early 911 is an experience by its own. You drive this car, you feel how light it is, how light-footed. You know, it's 1,000 kilos. Today, we're driving 1,600, and uh, the 500 horsepower that we use today feel different to the 130 we drove at that time because the extra weight, the 60% more weight, is not really compensated by the extra horsepower because there is no compensation for extra weight. There's nothing better than saving weight in an automobile. So this really is the feel like you are riding on a feather. It's, it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's very difficult to describe. I also describe it as I'm driving my own pants here. And uh, this is the way I feel when I drive this car on the curvy, narrow roads around our neighborhood because it gives you this feeling of lightness. The 901 was a wonderful project. I found this car probably 20 years ago and I found it in Auto Trader in the United States by accident. As I was just going through the pages, I saw that there's an early 911 for sale. And I called, and I wanted to know more about it, and they told me the chassis number, 300037. Then I thought, gosh, if I'm not wrong, this got to be one of the real early series cars. And as I was double-checking, sure enough, I found out it was number 37. And not only that, it was a 901. It was a zero production car of the very first production run in late 64. That happened just before the story happened with Porsche and Peugeot. We all know this story. And uh, so I thought, this is a precious car. This is a car that is worthwhile collecting, even though it was in the worst possible condition. It was a big, big rust bucket. I kept it in my uh, storage for all the years. And now, in conjunction with another car, with a donor car, that we needed just to make one car out of two. It was a major undertaking, but we did it in eight months, and uh, thanks to Hans Lampert, who really fell in love with this project, we were able to put this car together in such a short time for the 40th anniversary of the 911. Our strength has always been that we offer for any regular Porsche service, maintenance and repair. And we have a staff that has been with us for decades, so therefore they are competent of understanding and knowing all the early cars as well as the latest cars. And we can offer a comprehensive service for all existing regular Porsches as well.